It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And we'll get to see a pair of teams who fought multiple times in the Super Bowl. It's the Washington Commanders and the Miami Dolphins. Coming up next. The address is 347 Don Shula Drive. In honor of the legendary coach, the stadium is Hard Rock Stadium in Miami Gardens, Florida. Good to be in the booth with my partner Greg Olson. I'm Mike Tirico. Welcome, and Greg, this is one of those that's worthy of prime time because wide receivers love the spotlight as much as any position group in the league, and we got two guys who shine under the lights here tonight. And I think where it's going to be really fun and get interesting to watch, Mike, is in those critical situations, the games on the line, third down, red zone, got to have it moments. There is no mystery. Both these sidelines, they know exactly where the ball's going, and they're just going to say, I dare you to stop them. These are two prime, elite wide receivers in the National Football League. Night game, prime time. They're looking to put on a show. The veteran, Jason Sanders, ready to get a start. And off we go from South Park. On the return, it's Chris Rodriguez. And he'll be taken down right at the 29-yard line. The Commanders come out with the man they hope leads them into their new era. Jaden Daniels, the number two overall pick in this past draft from LSU. Greg, this is the man who won the Heisman Trophy with the Tigers in Baton Rouge a year ago. Here we have a guy, Mike, who's probably one of the most dynamic athletes that we have in the entire NFL at the quarterback position. He can create so many problems for a defense with his legs, but make no mistake about it, he is far from one-dimensional. He's both willing and able to carve a defense up with his arm while using his legs as more of a secondary weapon. If there's one knock on his game at this very moment, it's the fact that occasionally he'll kind of lay one up from time to time. Nonetheless, if he's on his A game in this one, we could be in for a real treat. They'll come up here on second down and five. Again, it's Eckler. And nothing doing on that run. They'll get back to the line of scrimmage. Nothing more. We have an early third down coming up. These edge rushers, they are judged by their sack totals, Mike. They love to rush the passer. But they have responsibilities in the run game as well. Great job here keeping it to no game. On third down, they'll throw with Daniels. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. So defensively, there's always the initial pass coverage plan. And then when that breaks down and the quarterback goes into scramble mode, how fast can you then move on to the second phase and what they call plaster, meaning find the nearest receiver and almost play a man-to-man. -man. And it's exactly what they did here. And there was nowhere for the ball to go. And he's forced to just throw it away. Now, a fair catch, he'll take it at about the 24-yard line. The Dolphins come out on offense, and the lefty, Tua Tagovailoa. He led the NFL a year ago in passing yardage. Hard to believe this is season five already from Alabama. Greg, Tua, 26 years old, and his time is now. One of the few southpaws we have playing quarterback in the NFL, Mike, and while he doesn't have one of the strongest arms, he makes up for it with great anticipation and pinpoint accuracy. So what it does, it allows him to throw very catchable balls. A lot of his receivers do a lot of the damage after the catch, and only time's going to tell how this one plays out. But when he's on his game, they're due for a lot of points. And he'll pick up two out to the 27. Hook him up on a second down and eight. Once again, it's Moster. And he'll take this to about the 28. Jamin Davis there to make the play. Here's third and seven. They'll motion the tight end, Smith. 
Throwing on third down. Tungo Bailoa. He'll try and get there on the ground. A first down on the scramble. A gain of 16. And here's a great example of why the pass rush on third down, that it's critical it gets home. In this case, they're not able to get to the quarterback. He has extra time to not only escape the pocket, but to turn into a runner and pick up the first down. First and 10. Hill brought in motion. Gets it away quickly, and it's caught. And he'll be marked down at the 45-yard line. That's a gain of 11, and they'll move the chains with another first down. Every once in a while, it just comes down to you need somebody in the huddle to just make a play, and it wasn't a whole lot fancy here. The quarterback just dumps the ball down, a quick underneath completion, and then really it's the yards after catch that did the rest, and that's what it takes. You're not always going to have the perfect play. You're not always going to dial up the perfect play against the perfect look. Sometimes players need to make plays, and that was a good one there. They'll work now on second and four. They'll motion the tight end, Smith. Tua gives it to Mostert. Maybe a couple there. It's third down. They'll motion the tight end, Smith. Third and two, Tungo Vailoa. He'll look middle, and he's got his man complete. And he's going to have the first down. So they convert on third down with a pickup of nine. Nice pickup here to the back. And what really stands out about this drive is the ability of the quarterback to really spread the ball around to multiple targets and put so much pressure on the defense deciding who do they want to account for because no matter who they try to take away quarterback's doing a nice job of finding the open man on first down here's Tungo Bailoa to throw and unable to connect there it's incomplete he was trying to get it to Odell Beckham Jr. there it's second down up until that incompletion, they've done a really nice job on this drive, Mike, picking up fresh sets of downs. And typically, throwing the ball on first down is a great way to do it. It's actually the easiest down in football to operate in. But now they find themselves in second and ten. Do you keep it in the air and try to get the first down here? Or is the idea to just make third down manageable and take your chances picking up a key third down? Even though it doesn't result in a sack, when you dial up the right pressure at the right time, Mike, sometimes that's all it takes to lead to that incompletion. The timing is just a little off between the quarterback and his intended target, and the ball falls incomplete. Hill brought in motion. A play fake. Now two at a throw. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Here's the quarterback doing everything in his power to extend this play, and none of his guys could get open. You got to see someone separate, work with your quarterback, go into scramble second reaction mode, and it's also give some credit to the back end, doing a nice job plastering with their assignment, and he had no choice but to throw it away. Sanders' kick is good, and the Dolphins will take a 3-0 lead. And I think this is going to end up being considered a successful drive, Mike. I think, obviously, you would have loved to see them come down and convert and score a touchdown. But at the very least, they needed to come away with three. They were able to do that and take a lead on that field goal. So after the field goal to open up the scoring, the kicker's back out for this kickoff. Rodriguez on the return. 
and he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. The commander's offense ready now for their second drive. This one has been tight so far. A field goal separating the two sides as this drive kicks off with first and ten. to begin the drive with Eckler. He is met and dropped. Good defense. Loss of a couple on that play. Well, they try to get the run game started here early on this drive, Mike, and they're just going to have to do a better job up front. There's really nowhere for this ball carrier to go. You never want to lose yards on first down, but that's exactly the case here. Daniels to throw on second down. And they'll get about eight out of that one, but still a little work to do now on third down. Well, so often we see quarterbacks standing in the pocket, holding it, seeing if they can create something downfield. Well, not that play. That play was simple. Snap the ball to the quarterback, spit it out into the hands of your receiver, and let's see what he can do. Third and short, and it's Daniels. And the defense can't come up with a stop there. Gain a seven and a first down. Receiver just finds himself in a really nice groove, and there's these weird times in the game, Mike, where it just seems like every ball comes your way, every play they call you're wide open, and you just find yourself in one of those grooves that athletes talk about. So they got to continue to ride the hot hand because right now on that field, there's no mistaking who it is. And they get this one across midfield to the 47-yard line. A pickup of 12 yards. First down, Washington. There's just so many ways this offense can beat you, Mike. He adds such a layer to this offense with their ability to use him as a design runner. And we can see there as he picks up the first down. He'll let this one go deep down the right sideline. That is knocked away. Incomplete. Good coverage there defensively all over him. And it'll be second down. His offense is doing everything they can to quiet this crowd. And even though they missed on that long attempt, at least it sets the tone that they're going to continue to attack. They're going to continue to be aggressive, especially through the air. And if they can come up with a completion on one of those downfield passes, it's going to go a long way to settling themselves into this game. All right, so there's really three areas that a modern NFL running back has to excel in. Number one, the traditional handoffs. Yes, you have to operate out of the backfield like a traditional running back. Number two, you have to be excellent and reliable in pass protection. And maybe bigger than all of them, you have to be at least serviceable out of the backfield in the passing game. They'll try and run for the first with Eckler. That's a heck of a stop by this defense early in this game, Mike. And it sets up a decision for the offense. How aggressive do you want to be? You might be a little too far away to attempt a realistic field goal, but you might be a little too close to get anything out of the punt unit. I think I'm keeping the offense on. I'm trying to extend this drive, and I'm being aggressive here for it. They'll go. Here's Daniels. He's got a man. It's McClure. And he's going to have a commander's first down. They pick up a big chunk of yards to boot. The gain is 18. They've done a nice job spreading the ball around. Make the defense have to account for as many different weapons as possible here early. I think back to our conversation with this coaching staff, Mike. They identified this guy as someone they needed to get involved early and often. So that might be his first target. But I don't think it's going to be his last. So just a lone field goal in the first quarter of play. 3 nothing is our score. And we're back to South Florida after this. Here's a second and six. Slot man in motion right. 
Play action. Here's Daniels. The pass rush gets home, and he goes down. Now, following that sack, we have a player who was injured. The training staff going to look, and will step out for a moment. Third and long. From the shotgun on third down, Daniel. A nice throw by the rookie from LSU. And he's got his team a first down. To be a prolific passing offense in this league, you have to be able to both throw the ball from the pocket and you have to be able to operate and convert on third downs. And they've really done both at a high level on this drive. And to no surprise, they find themselves first and goal. This has been some kind of march downfield now, and they pay it off with six. It's first and goal. And he will take this one across into the end zone. Jaden Daniel, touchdown commander. Extra point try, forthcoming. It's up and good. And the Commanders move out to a 7-3 lead. Teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. To return it, here's Raheem Mostert. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The Dolphins offense ready to take over for their second possession. They trail by four. A touchdown gives them the lead. Drive begins with first and ten. In motion, it's Waddle. Quick throw here is complete. And he'll be taken down up at the 40-yard line. 12 yards on the game. That's good for a quick first down. Not a whole lot complicated about this play, Mike. That was understanding where the holes of the defense were. Remember, in this zone coverage, you got to find green grass. Get past the first down marker be friendly to the quarterback and then the ball has to be out on time before those and the rush gets home he'll go down they got him the offense goes from feeling really good about the previous play with a real nice pickup to then on the ensuing play ending up going the complete opposite direction really nice job here by the defense immediately getting back on track and what do the coaches say just play the next play and that's exactly what they did Work to do now as they come up on second and long. Throwing is Tua. They'll get this out quickly to Hill. And he's going to be dropped after a pickup of about five. Third and long.
now it's Tua. They try to set up the screen to Mostert. And he'll be stopped short of a first down, and that will necessitate a call to the punt team. It's fourth down. Anytime you call a running back screen, the key is the relationship between the offensive line and the running back. They have to be in sync perfectly to set up the big play. That wasn't the case here on third down. He gets tackled short of the sticks. Crowder to return. That's a nice job of making things more manageable for this offense as he takes it back beyond the 25-yard line. The commander's offense getting set to get back to work. Philippe sits at four. So he'll try to add on to that. This drive begins with first and ten. Operating from the gun, it's dead. That's over the middle and intercepted. Picked off by Jordan Brooks. I think you chalk this one up, Mike, to just a rookie mistake. And anytime you have a young signal caller behind center, you're going to have to deal with some of these ups and downs. Every once in a while, they're just not going to see the coverage. They're going to get baited into making a bad throw. That's kind of par for the course. The key is how fast can these rookie quarterbacks turn the page, move on, and not make the same mistake again. Out comes Miami and the offense to get started on their next drive. They'll start with a golden opportunity here to move out in front. Great field position to start out. It's first and ten. From the gun, here's Tua. To the left side, in the hands of Hill. And he'll be taken down. That's his third catch of this first half, and good enough for a first down. Sudden change. So you find yourself defensively a little bit on your heels. Your offense just turned the ball over, and now you've got to go out and make a stand. Well, so far, this offense has moved the ball pretty quickly, but can they dig in and at least force a field goal? Now a screen set up for HN. A very nice open field tackle there. He could not get free and gains nothing. Try it again here from the seven yard line. Second down and goal. Out of the gun, Tungo Vailoa. To the goal line. Greg, they take advantage of the good field position and move it downfield for the score. When you take the field as an offense, there's a little added confidence boost, Mike, when you see yourself this close to the end zone. You get into the huddle, you're anxious to see what the next couple plays are. They're able to take advantage and end up punching it in. Jason Sanders on for the point after. He gets it to go, and the Dolphins are on top. It's now 10 to 7. the touchdown Myers is back to boot this one away Rodriguez on the return and he's brought down right at the 25 yard line following the kickoff we have an injured player on the field so as they look at the injured player we'll take a timeout
From the 25, they'll go to work. First and 10. From the shotgun, it's Daniel. That's caught downfield. McLaurin brings it in. And he's going to take this one all the way. 75 yards. Touchdown, Washington. Well, that is a quick drive and the best way to finish it. The touchdown pass downfield. Greg, you rarely see a deep shot like that to start a drop. You're right, Mike. We don't see it a lot, but I wish we did. It's actually the most efficient and safest down to pass the ball. And in this case, the defense is thinking run, got a lot of defenders up in the box, and they're able to strike deep with a pass play for six. The extra point is good. And the Commanders are on top. It's 14 to 10. kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away Braxton Berrios now to bring it back he'll get this past the 20 before he's brought down shy of the 25 yard line the Dolphins offense and receiver Jalen Waddle getting ready to go back to work they'll do so with first and 10 A shotgun snap for Tua. That's over the middle and intercepted. That's the veteran linebacker, Bobby Wagner. Those simple routes over the middle, Mike. Well, to the quarterback, they're not always so simple. I'll tell you why. There's a lot of bodies in the middle of the field. There's a lot of traffic. Those windows are hard to navigate the ball through safely. So what happens? Well, you saw it there. It's a prime area for throws to be intercepted. There's Terry McLaurin and the Commander's offense heading out for their next possession. They've got the lead, and they'll set forth trying to build on it. They're going to do that with excellent field position. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. Working out of the gun, it's Daniel. He's got it inside the five. And he's going to be brought down. That is a gain of 20. And what a chance now. First and goal coming up. And really the key to this play was just how fast he was able to get through his progressions. His mind was able to process and go from one to two to three so quickly that he was able to get the ball to the right target on time and I think so often those two things are different being open is one thing being open and getting the ball on time that's what leads to success and that's what we saw here all week long they stress Mike that we have to get as many defenders to this ball carrier as possible they know he's going to make some guys miss he's going to be hard to get on the ground but you can see the effect of rallying to the ball as it had here they're able to take him down and they're able to do it for a loss and that is caught in the end zone. He's in. Terry McClurin. Touchdown, Washington. His second touchdown of this first half. And that is number two. Greg, he is off to some kind of start in this one. Two quarters and two receiving touchdowns. Mike, this is one of those situations where as a defensive coordinator, you've got to give your group an answer. Because right now, they don't have one for this guy. A try here for the extra point. He knocks it through. And the Commanders are out to a 21-10 lead.
Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. Here's Berrios on the return. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. The Dolphins offense ready to take over once again. They'll look to make some inroads here. They're down 21 to 10 in this one as they come up on a first down. Make the handoff. Now, Tua. We'll find Mostert out of the backfield. And no chance to turn and go. That one good for just a couple. Bold decision there by this quarterback to attack a guy who's already made you pay for challenging him earlier today. He trusted his guy to not only win, but to defeat man coverage. And I think he got away with one there. Hill brought in motion. Play action. Tugo Bailoa. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. You can't fault the quarterback on this one, Mike. He really didn't even have much of an opportunity. By the time he hit the top of his drop and got his eyes downfield, the defense was all over him, and he really had no choice but to just get that ball out of his hand and live to play another snap. They motion a receiver right. On play action, it's Tunga Valoa. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. For the most part, he's been very accurate with the ball. I mean, he's completing over 60% of his passes, but because they haven't been able to get any big explosive plays, continue to push the ball downfield, hasn't really translated on the scoreboard just yet. Here's Jake Bailey now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. A fair catch signaled, and they'll have it just outside their own 20. So first and 10 now, they'll start from the 22. They'll go play action here with Daniel. That's taken in, it's Austin Eckler. And he'll be taken down as we tick down to the two minute warning. Two minutes to go here, till halftime. We'll come back to Miami after this. On second down, it's Daniel. Going over the middle, this one is complete. They get 15 on that game. Good for a commander's first down. These crossing concepts are frequently used, Mike, throughout the entire game all across the league. And what it does is it creates a lot of natural rubs. You run out the backside of the defense and rely heavily on the yards after the catch. And it's exactly how they're able to pick up this big game. They'll come up here first and ten. They'll throw with Daniel. The open receiver is Dotson. You can see the eyes of the quarterback. He's trying to push this ball initially downfield, but with the defense doing a good job keeping a lid on the coverage, he's forced to check this ball down to the shallow route. But this is something that they know in the future. If I need a couple yards, they can come back to this play. Throwing again, Daniel. This one is caught by Dotson. And they'll take this down inside the 35. That's his third catch of this first half and good enough for a first down. There's this misconception out there, Mike, that in the NFL, you have to run the same amount of run plays as you do pass plays. Everyone talks about being balanced. But as you're seeing in this drive, you can fall on one side of that coin a little bit more as long as you're able to remain effective and efficient. So far, their passing game has dominated here early, and that last pickup 
leads to a first down. A big half continues. Already two touchdowns on the score sheet. And here, this grab gets him a first down. Well, they certainly aren't wasting any time marching down the field. I mean, you only need one hand to count how many plays they've run. And yet they find themselves first and goal inside the low red zone. Well, here's the chance to cap off a great half. They have it first and goal. It is brought in, in the end zone. Jahan Dotson, touchdown commanders. And the show continues. What a first half he's had, Greg. A third touchdown pass with that one. Mike, what stood out to me the most so far is just the amount of space these guys have had to operate in. I think if I'm this defensive coordinator, me and my staff at halftime are revisiting this game plan. They obviously felt good about it coming in, but I don't think there's anything to feel good about thus far. They'll line it up to kick the extra point. It's up and through. And the Commanders add on one more as they extend their second quarter lead. They didn't leave much time on the clock to put together a drive here at the end of the first half. And the kickoff's coming their way. Here's Braxton Berrios to bring it out of the end zone. Across the 20, they'll mark him down before the 25-yard line. And that's where the offense will take over. So here's a first and 10 now. They'll start from the 24. They will start it on the ground to run that clock. And that one shut down pretty quickly. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. Nothing more. So, here at halftime, it's the visitors, the commanders, who are out on top. As we head north to Orlando, we're going to join the coach, Jonathan Coachman. He's got our EA Sports halftime report all right mike thanks very much and welcome in everyone to our ea sports halftime report this was an extremely one-sided first half one team showed up all right coach second half drawing near glad to have you back with us here on ea sports very one-sided first half of action will we get a turnaround let's find out the third quarter is underway he'll get this up to the 28 yard line nice place for the drive to start the Dolphins offense gonna have a first crack at it as we begin this third quarter they are in need of points in a big way as they set out on first and ten They'll motion the tight end, Smith. They'll fake the handoff. 
Now, Tua. That is caught right side by Beckham. The drag route is certainly not the most complicated route on the route tree, but a really nice job there using the scheme to create separation. He did a really nice job there working across the middle of the field as he made himself open. Tua going to throw. And they'll whistle him down, but not before he picks up a first down after a gain of seven. These curl routes, he's been running these routes since he was a young kid in Pop Warner football, and I like to call it pulling the string. You've got the defender thinking you're going downfield, and you stick that foot in the ground, work back to the quarterback, friendly to the ball, and really nice job picking up the first down. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. 16-yard pickup on that one. First down, Miami. Finding yourself down here, multiple scores in the second half. The defense is going to give you some friendly run looks. So don't be afraid to mix it in there. But if you're going to find yourself coming back from this deficit, you're going to have to do it primarily through the air with just a little bit of mix of the run. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. As a route runner, once you identify zone coverage like they were playing here, the key is find open space and stay in it. He did a nice job here because that was not a big hole. The quarterback had to put a little extra on that one, and they were able to make the completion. A play fit. Now two of the throw. Checking it down. This one is caught. And they'll whistle him down, but not before he picks up a first down after a gain of seven. A running back that can be used in the passing game is a handful for these defenses. And you can tell this offense, they're not shy getting this guy the ball. And I think the rest of this game, they're going to continue to see, hey, defense, do you have an answer for this guy? They'll motion the tight end, Smith. Tonga Valolo working out of the pistol. And he'll gain yardage and able to get down at the end of the play. Take a look at his eyes. You can see the quarterback clearly going through all of his progressions, and he's quick to realize there's nowhere to go with this ball. He makes the right decision and gets out of there, picks up some good yardage, and gets down on the ground. Now it's Tua. He'll take off again. Well, let's give credit here to the coverage unit, Mike. There was nowhere to go with the ball for that quarterback. He had no choice but to just tuck it down himself, and he's able only to pick up a short game. They'll look to pick this up third and a yard. Off play action. It's Tua. He's got the hook up there to Waddle. Offensively, landing a lot of body blows on this drive, Mike. Just the ability to steadily march the ball downfield and remain so efficient, both run and pass. As they continue to wear this defense out, they have to find a way to end this drive with points. Anything short of that will be a bit of a letdown. On first and 10, it's Mostert. And this rough day on the ground continues. They're going to drop him behind the line again. The speed and the get-off by the big interior defensive tackle, Mike. I mean, he got through there so fast, he almost took the handoff himself. Here's a second and 12. They'll stay on the ground with Mostert. And he'll get this ahead. Gain of about four. And it leads to third down. From the gun, here's Tua. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. I know this play results in an incomplete pass, but I think this is a really good job by the quarterback. His clock was going off. He felt that rush. He had no immediate target to go to with the ball. Instead, throw it away. Don't take the sack. Live for another day. <laughs> 
He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Dolphins are back within two scores. And when you find yourself down double digits, you don't want to make habit of settling for these field goals. It does allow them to chip away a little bit and cut into this deficit, but they've got to find a way to score touchdowns. So Sanders back out after making the field goal. He sends this one away. This one deep in the landing zone. He'll return it from the two. He'll get across the 20. Mark him down at the 23-yard line. Here comes the number two overall pick, Jaden Daniels, with the rest of the commander's offense. And we show you some of the highlights, and there have been plenty to choose from. Three touchdown passes and some other big-time throws as well. Certainly dialed in and on top of his game right throughout this one. Operating from their own 23, they'll begin first and 10. Operating from the gun, it's Daniels. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. To throw is Daniels. Gets it away quickly and it's caught. And he'll be taken down. The gain is six, and it's a new set of downs. He picked up the first down. Well, sometimes as a play caller, it's pretty easy. Get the ball into the hands of your best players. In this case, a wide receiver screen. Get it to him quick. Get some blockers out in front. Let him do the rest after the catch, and he picks up the first down. Out of the gun. They give it to Eckler. He looks forward for maybe a yard. Jalen Ramsey up to make the play. Here's second and nine. Throwing now, Daniel. Mm. Good pick up of 16 on that screenplay and a first down. Mike, think back to our conversation during the break. We've kind of both asked ourselves, are they content with this double-digit lead? Do they come out and play conservative here in the second half? Well, it took exactly one play to get our answer. They continue to get chunk plays like this. This thing could get out of reach fast. They'll go back to Eckler here on first down. And he'll get forward for a couple. It's second down. more with Eckler. And he'll get maybe about four yards out of that one. Lane closed quickly. And here comes third down. From the shotgun on third down, Daniel. A gain of 16 on that pass play. First down, Washington. This is what every offense looks to do, Mike. They want to attack the middle of the field. That's the most valuable real estate in football. And oftentimes, that's where the chunk plays come. Give it to your receiver on the move and let them do the rest. Set to go now on first and 10. Working out of the gun, it's Daniels. Finding the veteran tight end, Zach Ertz. And they're going to get this all the way down inside the five. A gain of 26. And it sets up 
first and goal. Now, so far here today, putting points on the board certainly hasn't been a problem, and plays like that are why. Think about it, Mike. Sometimes you just have to take what the defense gives you and not force something that's not there, and that mid-range pass results in a fresh set of downs. They'll run here with Eckler. And he will fight his way to the end zone. Austin Eckler. Touchdown, Washington. Greg, nothing changed at halftime. They come right out to start this third quarter and pick up where they left off. Well, I think this defensive coordinator is going to think back to his halftime speech, Mike, because whatever adjustments he thought they made, it obviously didn't resonate. What we saw happen in the first half, they picked right back up here to start the third quarter, and at this point, the offense has hit its stride, and they continue to pull away. What they're looking at here is the spot of the football. Always tricky to get this exactly right, but it only takes a few inches to make a big impact. So slow this down, find a landmark on the field, and determine where the spot should be. So that challenge, a successful one. So, these two teams take the long walk to the opposite end of the stadium. We've come to the end of the third quarter. Back with more after the break. You're tuned in to the NFL on EA Sports. Another shot from the one on second and goal. Again, it'll be Eckler. And this time, he will work his way into the end zone. Austin Eckler. Touchdown, Commanders. Greg, that's one of those scores where it's not completely over, but it's getting to be about that time. Yeah, Mike, I just think they're entering miracle stage right now, and I just don't think there's any coming back from this deficit. extra point attempt to come here. He's got it. And the Commanders will open it up even further here in this fourth quarter. The kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away here's Berrios on the return and he'll be brought down just beyond the 25 yard line the home team's offense ready to see what they can do with this next possession things not looking good but see if they get the turnaround going here they'll start this drive with first down the gun, Tungo Bailoa. That's complete. He's got OBJ. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. A shotgun snap for two. He'll go back to Odell. They connect again. And they bring him down, but not until he crosses midfield. They get 19 on that pass play. First down, Miami. This hasn't been his best game by any means, but what I really like, Mike, is regardless of the score, regardless of the time of the game, 
He is out there battling. He's doing everything in his power to chip away and see if he can get his team back in this game here in the fourth quarter. They've got to find a way to capitalize in this drive. Continue to cut into that deficit. Every possession is critical. Take advantage when you have the ball. That's catch three just on this drive. And it gets his team a first down. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They clearly have a mismatch in their favor, and every time they've looked his way, he's continued to make big plays. If I'm this coordinator, I think I'm giving him one more shot and see if he can push this thing over the goal line and come away with six. And no chance to turn and go. That one good for just a couple. In motion comes Beckham. Play action. Tagovailoa. He keeps it himself. Quarterback does a nice job here sensing the pressure pretty quickly. Realizes he doesn't have a ton of time to operate from within the pocket. Decides to tuck the ball and rely on his legs. He's able to pick up a positive play. They'll come up to third and three. Here's Tunga Bailoa. That one caught by Smith. About 19 yards on that one. And they're in business. It's first and goal. I think at this point in the game, prior to that third down call, the coach is telling his quarterback, hey, you got two downs. This is four down territory. But that last completion, I think, saves him from having to make that decision, at least for the time being, barring any penalties. Now, they got three or four plays to try to end this one with a touchdown. He's got his man, middle of the end zone. Tyreek Hill, touchdown Dolphins. Well, Greg, the light's still on way down at the end of the tunnel here. They are climbing back into this one with that touchdown here in the fourth quarter. And they have a tall task ahead of them, Mike, but they have a chance. I mean, we've seen stranger things happen. Hmm. They got a two-possession game here late. They're going to need a couple stops, and they're going to need a couple things to bounce their way. Everything's about matchups, especially down here this close to the goal line. I think my guy's better than your guy. I'm going to put him in a position to have success, throw it up to him, and let him do the rest. After the touchdown, Myers is back to boot this one away. Rodriguez on the return. Now an opening past the 30. A good return as he takes it across the 30. The commander's offense ready to take over once more. And as we look back now, Greg, at how we got here, we got a ton of highlights of the offense so far. In particular, great passing. Yeah, and if you want to score points in the NFL, Mike, there's no secret. You've got to do it primarily through the air. And with three touchdowns here so far, that's exactly what we've seen. It's been deep balls. It's been intermediate shots. It's been good run after catch. This has really been high-level offense on display right from the jump. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. From the shotgun. It's Daniel. Got his receiver on the end cut. He's got it. This is one of those throws where you're hoping you do most of the damage after the catch, but give credit to the defense. Once that ball was caught, they were on him quickly, and there was nowhere for him to go after the catch. Now, this looks like a design run. And he'll be marked down at the 45-yard line. They get 18 on that one. Good for a commander's first down. 
Mike, I think every offense would love to be able to call designed runs for their quarterback, but it's so dependent of who that quarterback is. And for this team, to be able to have that guy behind center, it just adds a different element to what they can do on offense. Now Daniel throwing on first and 10. Quick throw here is complete. And they're going to take this into the red zone to the 15-yard line. It's another big play in a game that's had its share. And even 30 yards. If you want to score points at a high level in the NFL, you have to generate explosive plays. And after that big chunk pass play, they find themselves now down there in the red zone. And this is where you have to finish drives. The throw is Daniels on first and ten. And he'll take it on in. Jahan Dotson. Touchdown, Washington. That is yet another touchdown pass. What a game he is having, throwing his fourth touchdown score of the game. It's one thing, Mike, to throw four touchdowns, but it's really the ease in which he's carved this defense up that has stood out the most. The defense has had no answers for this passing game, and he has just completely had his way with this group. Now, for the point after. He's got it. And the Commanders are going to extend their lead. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. Here's Berrios on the return. And he'll be brought down right around the 25-yard line. The home team's offense starting to trot out for this next possession. They'll start it here with a first and ten. Here's Tungo Vailoa. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. It's rare to see an offense that finds themselves trailing and say, well, their quarterback's been actually one of their biggest bright spots. Usually that doesn't go hand in hand. So it's a little surprising to see him miss a throw like that on a day where he's completed passes at a highly efficient rate. And they'll be set up now. Up past the 40 with that one. 17 yards on that connection. First down, Miami. It's been tough sledding for this offense all day today, Mike, but especially here in the second half. So they are just in desperate need of a spark. Just something to get their offense into a little bit of a rhythm if they want to have any chance to find themselves back into this game here late. And he will not get away. Terrific open field tackle. Gets him down behind the line. I think this play is a direct result of his film study. He knew exactly where that ball was going before the play was snapped. And that play recognition, man, it separates a lot of guys in this league and results in a negative play. Throwing again. It's Tua. That is caught left side by Waddle. 17 yards that time for number 17. Throwing with anticipation, it not only requires the confidence in both your accuracy and the timing, but it also forces the receiver to be on time and where the quarterback expects you to be. And this is one of those examples, man. When those two things are on point, it results in a first down. He 
he's going to keep it himself. Initially, Mike, a really good job by the defense. Nowhere to go with the ball for this quarterback. He's forced to pull it down and turn into a runner. A little slow reaction, and he's able to actually pick up a pretty good game. Back to throw is Tua. Throw on the run is complete. And he'll be taken down as the clock ticks towards two minutes to play. So, two minutes to play here in the second half. We'll come back and finish this one off after this. In motion comes Beckham. Tua going to throw here on third and one. Sending it deep for Waddle. That is incomplete. Here we go. They're down to what could be their final play. It's fourth down. I could sit up here all day, Mike, and we could talk about the missed throw. But I think a lot of the credit has to go to the pass defense. Not only did they do a good job making it difficult for them to complete the pass, but I think they saved the touchdown along the way. Now or never, they'll throw on fourth down. That's deep for the back of the end zone. That's in the end zone and intercepted. Picked off by Benjamin St. Juice. So much of that play comes down to the defender's positioning. Being able to get himself to a spot to get his hands on the ball and a chance at that pick. Mike, when that ball was thrown, me and you are sitting here saying, that's a touchdown, and instead, they force a turnover, and now their offense is back on the field. The commander's offense and Terry McLaurin heading out onto the field. This one appears to be safe in hand. It has been a clinical performance to this point, and now they'll try to finish up strong. The drive begins at the 20. Here's first and 10. The drive starts with a carry by Eckler. And a good run there. Going to get him five yards. third down they motion the slot man left using the jet sweep for the fake they run it up the middle A win here on the road for the Commanders. A bit of a surprise, this one on paper. You figure this would have been a difficult assignment, trying to win away from home against a team of this caliber. No problems, though. They find a way to get it done. So that'll do it for us, for Greg Olson and our terrific team behind the scenes. I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. Follow us on X at EA Madden NFL. Good night from South Florida.